Ryan G final, the final final of Skiena Skull. Hopefully last won't be least and the Ryan G final, because it's smaller schools, it's a 12 aside game and in opposition are Ovens National School and Abulog. And referee is Joe Leary. Ovens playing in the down colours of red with black trim, Abulog in green and white. And away they go, referee blows the whistle over there. Indicates some chopping. It will be a free for Ovens. Lifted and it's belted down. A great free. Dropping into the danger area. Flick down well. It's going towards the end line. Won't go out of play. Still there. Very near the end line. Eventually the umpire indicates that it in fact crossed over the line. And it will be a puck out for the Abola goalie. And... That is Noel Finnegan. Noel drives it out to the centre of the field. First to the ball are Ovens, but it's whipped away by Abelug. Down towards their forwards. Chuck Owen, Abelug, Turning away from their markers. That's number 11 for Abelug. Um, Dennis O'Leary, Dennis driving it in. Out comes Jason Murphy in the Ovens goal. Jason drives it away. Deciding that discretion is the better part of Valor. Driving it over to the corner. It will be a sideline cut over. Halfway between the corner flag and the 14 metre line. There we see striding along the sideline. Mr. Donald Hooley. Uh, Shkina Skull. Stalbert as the sideline cut comes in and goes harmlessly wide. Uh, we've played just a minute and a half in the first half. Gone in score again force. August Sampak Galana Parke, Agusha Huin, Habalagari, Shakanish, Bert Bertkahan son, Girigan Schlitter of Ulish Dak, Berto Nahona Girge of Ulamak. There's a scramble for possession over there. Nobody able to get a clean strike at the Schlitter eventually. It's still in there. Eventually it breaks out towards the centre and it's Ahabalag trying to open up an attack. Every day, 
the Mahona and Son Sinead, Alan Madden, driving it down the far wing, racing over his 12, 12 is Paul Conway. First to the slitter, but he loses it. Comes back to the centre, number nine, whipping hard is Trevor Holland. And the ball eventually breaks out to David Bradley. The Abola give it a shot. Or the Ovens give it a shot of Malish Gale. But Chakun Abola Guri Sharanunsi over on the far side. Trying to open up an attack. In the ball goes. Fresh air by the full back. The full back is uh, Tim Kelleher. Eventually gets a second bite at the cherry. Gets the ball half out only as far as number nine. Dan McSweeney. Dan drives it in. But there is Tim Kelleher again. Tim being policed, being harassed, but he hits it hard to um, Abulog forwards around him. The ball breaks to an Abulog forward racing through. Three backs, one forward, still trying to get room to swing. Very, very close. The umpire was right in the spot. Almost stole a goal there, did number 10. Number 11, Government Lishkale, uh, Dennis O'Leary for Abulog. Even though he was surrounded by... Ovens defenders from the puck out. All action here in Parky Creeve in the Ryan G final out around the centre. Failing to gather it first time. Doesn't get a second chance. Now it's Abola trying to open up another attack. Out around the centre of the field. We've had a lot of uh, dithering and dawdling around the centre so far in this game. But after a while, uh, no doubt things will open up. And so Hamaka, Kyle Liam McAvoy, Liam. Well, Gadisha, I'm a Yakarera de Ishkin, did on the four, and Gadisha, Abolog looked dangerous in that last attack. But anytime you have Abolog and Aero Oak teams in opposition, it's going to be tight, it's going to be close, and scores are going to be difficult to come by. Beautiful sideline cut there by Ivar Kuig, the Snohona, Mihala Drishkol, Avolish Daka Drone Cool, a draw cool, Nakaragadri, Agus Nohona Aranunsi, number seven for them there. Uh, jumping away from the tackle was David Bradley, but he was pushed in the back. And referee Joe O'Leary well up with the play. David Bradley himself places the slitter to take the resultant free. Lifts it and drives it in nicely in towards the danger area inside. It's flicked in. Goalkeeper keeps his eye well on it. Excellent goalkeeping by Noel Finnegan for Abolog and driving it out. Uh, as far as Ivernay. Ivernay does shoot as Dan McSweeney turning away from his marker, getting an attack in motion. And Chakwin Achabala Grish, Ivrahim Diagdov Shud, Dennis O'Leary, Dennis who went so close to scoring a goal a few moments ago. Looks a skillful player. Here he goes again. Two backs around him. He turns away and drives it dangerously across the goal. But the only person there is the full back. The full back is Tim Kelleher for Ovens and Tim sweeps it away over to the far wing. But Chakwin Achabala Grish driven in towards the corner. Number five is racing across. Five is Michael O'Driscoll. Trying to clear it. He's harassed and hassled over there by the tenacious Ahabolog forwards, trying to get the ball in. It's blocked, that must be a 65, yes indeed, the umpire agrees with me. Uh, light fading fast here now in Parky Creeve. We hope we'll have enough light to see the game to a finish. The last of the Skeena Skull games, and let it be said, in these AIB-sponsored Skeena Skull finals have been a huge success this year, and the standard of hurling in all the games has been quite high and very exciting. Yes, indeed. The last one, a cracker. Let's hope that this one is going to follow suit. Abolog, the 65, dropped in. It's flicked in. The goalkeeper is out. And it's still there. Two forwards trying to put it across. It's put across the goal. Backs trying to get it out. Forwards trying to get in. The backs are over it. Exuberant. A little bit of uh, the guillotine there. The chopping being done by number five, Michael O'Driscoll. And referee Joe O'Leary blows the whistle. It's a free for uh, Abolog and Dennis O'Leary. Chance of a score. And Dennis uh, doesn't look the gift horse in the mouth, taps it over the bar. Opening score after six minutes of play. Cooley Nivon, but Ahabolog, gonna score four, Signahuna. A grand puck out, out to the centre. One, two, three Ahabolog players. Ovens look livelier on the start, in the last few minutes, Ahabolog seem to have uh, the legs on them. Here they come again, Ahabolog, Fanatalun, but this attack is broken up. And Ovens, number seven, is uh, David Bradley. He's played well so far, trying to get away. Racing back is number four, Kieran Elders. Kieran, with the help of, I think it was Michael Ahern, getting it away, and it's whipped down. Good hurling here, good ground hurling. More of it as it, Abola go back into the attack. Hand pass in to the danger man. The danger man is Dennis. Dennis gathers the ball and turns away beautifully from two markers. Looks towards goal, strikes it in. This one is dropping harmlessly over the heads of backs and forwards and dropping wide. No fault of Dennis's there. He was again tightly marked, did the right thing. If the corner forward had been in another bit, it might have been a great ball. The puck out is 
out towards the stand side here, but the space being filled by one of the Abolog players, that's Ivra Schacht, Joyf Shud, uh, Danny Buckley. Any relation of the Black Rocks, Danny Buckley, I wonder. And now Owen's trying to open up an attack, but the sideline is too near for number five, uh, Michael O'Driscoll. The slitter goes over the Tevlina, Agus Pokslasavig, Yom, the Abolog, Ivra Naik, and I Hogan Chine, Dan Machsine. Me half Ogan, Dan and the Yegay Fagan Chiaunda, Danny Buckley. Danny O'Bokla, O'Kown and Gloat, Stakadro and Huine, belted out or flicked out and added to nicely there by the Ovens defence and away they come down the wing into the wing forward position and whipped along the ground, nicely done. But the backs are there in numbers, they try to get it away. Forwards trying to get it in, away come the backs, however, down along the wing towards the sideline, very near the sideline, the Ovens backs are there. So is uh, Abolog's number nine, Dan McSweeney, into the corner, racing back is Michael Ahern. Michael trying to get away, but he's beaten on this occasion. Uh, by Patrick Summers, I think it was, yes. No, it was Dennis O'Leary. Dennis putting it across in front of the goal. A great save by Jason Murphy inside. The ball is still not out of the danger area. A cracking shot sent in there. And Jason Murphy, the Ovens keeper, did very well to get his body and his hurley behind that one. And uh, effect a very, very good save indeed. But still, it's Abolog on the attack. And there's Dan McSweeney. Dan driving it in low. And full back, Tim Gellher. Just hesitated for a slight second there, but eventually got the slitter out. But the danger is still not cleared. All Ahabolog now for the last few minutes. Ovens haven't had an attack in quite a while. And over goes Ivra Schacht. Ivra Schacht is David Bradley playing well so far, driving it down the wing. Now perhaps Ovens can have a chance to open up an attack. Whipping it along the ground, opening it up. But out comes first to the ball is the Ahabolog defence. One, two, three Ovens players. One Ahabolog defender. The Abolog defender doing very well so far, and that Abolog defender doing so well is number two, James Foley, doing three men's work there, did James, and eventually scooping the ball over the sideline down beneath our commentary position. Ta Maynomat Imara Sakedla. A lot of bunching so far. Uh, perhaps when they tire a bit, it might open up a bit more. That's good ball down the wing, opening it up. These 12 aside usually end up more open as the game goes on, they have more space. Agus Nahuna Giri Gunsi Anavak, Shakhuna Habalagarish, Muhalana Park at Ivrade, Shine, Patrick Summers, oh, driving it over to the far side, trying to gather it in there, succeeding in doing so as Dennis. Live wire Dennis racing away. Tapping it in dangerously, and it's flicked away by the back line, coming out towards the corner forward position. The corner forward position being filled by Patrick Summers. Patrick is uh, well marked in there, number 12 uh, going in is Vera, Vera Toomey, the only girl actually on the, the field for Abolog, but there are three or four girls or maybe more among the substitutes, as the ball is pulled on in there, but eventually, off the post says the umpire, referee Joe O'Leary is going in to consult with the other umpire, uh, it was a very, very close one. I'm not sure who hit it in there. Uh, uh, yes, goalkeeper it. Jason Murphy was on the spot. Both umpires concord. No, no, they don't. He's given the goal. He's given the goal. It must have gone through the back of the net. That's what probably happened, at our, through the side of the net, perhaps. It was very close to the post, as I say, with fading light from up here. I couldn't give a verdict. Liam? I'd say what happened is it went off Jason Murphy, the goalkeeper, sorry. He nearly got down to make a brilliant save. It went off the side of his early and out through the side net netting. It's all in a hall, all right. I'd say the side netting was, uh, didn't do his job on that occasion and let the slitter through. So now we have a four-point lead for our Bullock, and it must be said on the evidence so far of the play, uh, deservedly so. Cool. Agus Kulin, Dov Shud, Agus Ganayan score for Signahuna. Yes, it's um, Dennis, o Dennis O'Leary looking very sharp, and uh, in fact, all the ovens forwards are looking very skillful and lovely, lovely natural skills being displayed Captain by them. Both Dennis O'Leary and Patrick Summers, and indeed Vera Tomey, with less of the play coming her way, have done well in there in the forward line. And so far, ovens haven't really threatened. Uh, but we've played now 11 and a half minutes of the first half, and it's a free. Over, over there for Nahuna, uh, placing it very carefully, is Ivra Shock to stole him, David Bradley, Shade David, and he drives it high into the danger area, it's flicked in, forwards and backs are in there, it's right in front of the goal, two forwards and only the goalkeeper to beat, and oh, inches 
six millimeters, I'd say, there as goalkeeper and captain of our Bullock, Noel Finnegan, threw himself headlong to prevent that one. He was no doubt pleased to see it scraping at the right side of the post as far as he was concerned, at the wrong side as far as Ovens were concerned. That score Lady remains 1-1 one, one for uh, Bullock. It's going to end score for Ignahuna. Lady look there again, the post being involved in both of them. Uh, Bullock scoring above and getting away by the skin of their teeth on the other side. And that's what that's the difference between two goals as far as um, Ovens are concerned at this stage. Cap to go to Liam often, of course. Uh, people say you make your own look, I suppose that's true up to a certain extent, but no doubt anybody who's played games, particularly hurling, where the, the slitter can trickle over, over the line so easily will agree that on certain days you just seem to think that nothing goes your way. Shaku in Ahabala Grisha Renunci Aran David at the Bark. Donnachollair taking it in along the ground. He could play hockey for Ireland with this skill. And it's a great chance in there. Goalkeeper recovers very well on the first occasion, but eventually it's finished at the back of the net. Jason Murphy did very well after slipping first to come back and prevent the goal, but it was finished at the back of the net. Um, I think it was by Patrick Pat Summers. Patrick Summers, I think I will credit that one to correct me if I'm wrong. There were a number of them in there and uh, eventually the ball finished at the back of the net now to give Ahabolog a clear seven point lead 2-1 uh, for Ahabolog who's going to end score force against Nohona and uh, Ovens would need a score at this stage just to lift their hearts and get them back great blocking by David Bradley down there in front of us and the ball eventually breaks to him makes a bit of room and turns beautifully to his left side and strikes it down towards the centre of the field lovely skill from David to try and open up an Ovens attack but the so far in the game, the Abolog defence, PJ Murphy and company, Patrick Donovan, they have been rock-like in their solidity down there as they have stemmed every attack which Ovens have, everything which Ovens have thrown at them so far in the first half. A first half which is now 14 minutes old, six minutes to go. Abel Shach, who never shocked. Uh, Danny Buckley, the Abolog, but Ovens getting the slitter away. One, two, three of them, take it easy. Enough of you there. David Bradley takes the initiative and drives a great ball, a great ball. Now a chance for Ovens. Along the ground goes number 12. 12 is Paul Conway racing through. 11 is in there as well. Referee O'Leary has blown the whistle. Oh, just as Ovens had the chance, there was a foul. There was a foul, no doubt about that. The ball had just broken in for Kevin Myler, I think it was, to, to follow it in. But referee had indeed blown the whistle before that. It would be a free for Ovens. Straight in front of the goal at point blank range as we see uh, David Bradley going up to take it, he's discarded his helmet I, I hope only momentarily yes, he's put it back on, very wise thing David, because in the game just before this we saw the North Monastery's centre back Sean McAndrew receiving a very nasty eye injury, uh, in fact might I say at this stage, here comes the free I'll wait, and it's crashed to the back of the net, Ovens really needed that that's a great score, that will gr bring them right back into the game as I was just saying before that there I was thinking that, I'm about to say that the GAA should make uh, the wearing of helmets compulsory for underage players. Uh, back come Ovens again, revitalised by that score. Out comes the captain, Captain Finnegan. Uh, captain Birdseye gets it out into the centre field, but there's the man of the match for Ovens so far, David Bradley. And there's uh, number 10, Alan Madden, trying to get it in. Out giving him a hand is uh, Trevor Holland. And over goes, Brad, uh, goes Bradley again. Bradley's attempted puck is blocked over the sideline on the far side. It will be a sideline cut. A great trash and stalling Gerbe and Mihal Odrish goal over a quick at a trash stall trash and son can a hogant. Over by the linesman there, the young linesman. All these young linesmen are from Sunday as well school and during the Skiena Skull finals every year they always deliver the goods. Gramahagev, Bokali, Tuburi and Downing. And back come a This is a good game now. Down to the far side, but there's the fullback. The fullback, Tim Kelher, driving it out over the sideline on the far side. It will be a sideline cut for Ahabolog. Liam Kadirhanish. Yes, indeed. I'm delighted in a way that, uh, that David Bradley got that goal. I hate to see a player being called back and not getting the benefit of the advantage. It was great that he, they got the reward for that attack and got the goal from it. Not alone did they need it, I think that the game needed it at that juncture. Oh, as well. a chance again for Ahabolog here, but 
goalkeeper half clears it it's still in the danger area two backs are there don't panic lads eventually they an element of panic they only succeed in clearing it as far as number seven danny buckley danny is Mark tightly misses the ball totally over there. Eventually it goes over towards the corner forward position. Abolog still there in numbers, trying to get it in. Trying to rise that slitter, hurling it across in front of the goal. But away come Ovens. Half cleared, however, only as far as Bradley. Bradley trying to get it out. Abolog trying to get it in. And away come Ovens. Out towards the 40 metre line, editor. One Ovens player doing beautifully there. Doubling on that ball and racing onto it. That's uh, Iverdoyag. Ivra or Ivra Hock, Government Eshkale, that's Brendan Murphy. Brendan is beaten on this occasion, but now Ovens with two players there in the attack. But out comes the Abolog defence. Back in, uh, number 10 driving it back in is Alan Madden. Number 8 racing across is Paul O'Shea. But eventually the Abolog defence clearing it and back go Abolog into the attack. A chance for them. Full back and cornerback are there. Cornerback is Michael Ahern. Michael gets it away over to the far side, very near the sideline. Racing across is that Dennis, I think it is. A great block over there by uh, one of the Ovens defenders, I'm not sure I couldn't see the number from this distance I'll tell you in a moment uh, if he'll oblige me by turning around indeed it was Michael O'Driscoll there who effected that great block from the sideline cut, right across in front of the goal excellent sideline cut for Abolog and tap back in and first time, no second bite of the cherry, it's still there the defence are dithering and dawdling it's still in the danger area Abolog trying to get it in, Ovens trying to get it out it's whipped in What's keeping it out? It's not kept out. It's ending in the back of the net. Liam. Yes, there was shades of a pushover try about that. Kant on the five-yard line eventually got the goal. Uh, at 3-1 to a goal. Ovens will want at least one more score before half-time. Indeed, and half-time is just about a minute and a half away now. And back come Abolog again. A very dangerous ball in. Jason inside has done well so far. He couldn't really be faulted for the goals. Uh, they were... Uh, ones that he had nothing to do about the stopping that one he policed well and eventually he'd out over the sideline on the far side so our bullock ending the game as they started it took them a while to settle but they've had most of the play and it must be said that they deserve to hold uh, a, a seven point lead 3-1 to a goal and the sideline cut over on the far side cut in beautifully right into the danger area belted out by the backs and it's whipped over the bar Put up that white flag to increase the Abolog lead. A big lead now, eight points they lead, boy, as we make it less than a minute to play in the first half. Agus Maraduri is here in the Vliam, to score at the is or skull in the Yes, I think Ovens will be thinking, is there life after Abolog? Abolog showing delightful skills in the middle of the field and in the forward line. I love the way their forward shot in the hurley. And there's side. a man who's showing delightful skills for Ovens is number seven, David Bradley, trying to get his side into the attack. A good chance now for them if this one can go past the full-back line, but that's great full-back play there. Stopping and then poking the ball out of the danger area, not risking getting hooked. But it's still in there, but out comes the corner back, racing out. And on that occasion, he was hooked. Good forward play in there. The forward's trying to get it in. The back's trying to get it out. Eventually, the backs prevail. But one, two, three. Ovens players there with time on their hands. Ball back in towards the corner. Racing in is number 11, Kevin Myler. Kevin is beaten, however. And the ball coming cleared out over the sideline. This will probably be the last chance of the first half. Referee Joe O'Leary has already checked his watch. Uh, he looks at it again uh, to take this sideline cut. Far uh, Ovens is Michael O'Driscoll. Michael looking towards goal. Don't put it wide, Michael, but that's just what he didn't do. Oh, this could be costly for uh, Bullock. One of the backs opting to let it go wide, and it didn't. And now Ovens have another chance. Michael Bradley with a chance to make amends. In it goes. Defenders and forwards in there. Defenders trying to root it out. Forwards trying to root it in. It's still in the danger area. And away come the defence. Uh, in the person of number nine, Dan McSweeney, and the ball is cleared out towards the centre of the field. Yes, I thought referee Joe Leary had blown the whistle. The players hadn't heard it. Tan Adog, Shetigan Retour, Tala Homogen, Clehe Canis Ryan G, Clehe Anava, Ahabolog, a three ado, Agus Kulavanik, Nahuna, Bemi Tarnashton, Tarnala. Agus and Sunder and Diabellet and Bark, we have made up the half time break to show you the Allied Irish Banks sign in the case you're wondering why we're showing you that it's just to remind you that Allied Irish Banks have uh, sponsored our Skiena Skull Finals this year and have done so for the past number of years I would like to uh, say and 
and during the halftime break here, a huge tanker floating past Parky Creeve, sailing up the lee. Uh, we'll be wondering, as the scribe might have said, which side will sail the ship into the harbour of victory. But this ship is sailing into Cork Harbour today, and it's displaying the Red Star. Uh, we'll see it there coming along. The Red Star on the funnel. We're wondering if it's Red Star Belgrade, if it's an Eastern Bloc ship. We are not sure. And the Red Stars down here in the game at the moment are the Stars of Ovens. But the green and white uh, stars are Abolog. It's a blue, red, white and blue flag aloft at the end of the ship. Is that French? It is on. begin the second half of the Rhine G final. Uh, referee Joe Leary down there checking that everything is okay. Uh, Abel Aguil on top, three goals and two points to a single goal for Ovens. What can Ovens do about that now in the second half? 20 minutes to go in the Rhine G final. The standard of hurling quite good, but Abelug's overall strength and teamwork just a little bit too much for the Ovens players in the first half. Uh, Nahuna Aranunsi, she is on Santa, every hand here, Kevin Myler trying to get it in. But so far they've got very little change on the occasions which they did attack from a very good uh, Abolog defence. And there's one of them, Danny Buckley, wearing number seven, getting the ball out and away come Abolog again, along the ground. Attack broken up over, but it goes back to Danny Buckley, whips on it well, over to the far wing. Racing out is Dennis O'Leary, uh, who played very, very well in the first half, failing to get this one on this occasion, however, and over goes number five for Ovens, Michael O'Driscoll. Michael, down the wing, racing across is Denny Buckley, very near the sideline. Denny strikes the ground in disgust as he scooped that one over the sideline on the far side. And over there, on that far sideline, about to take the sideline puck there, you see Mr. Uh, Donagh Lynch wearing Beautiful white shoes here today uh, in Parky Creeve. He's the one of the teachers and mentors of the uh, Ovens NS. That's the Balavorna style. Obviously, a Macaware and Sahamaka are all on Garbation and Steel of Yanaka. The same type of uh, footwear as Jory McInerney, the Galway player, wears. I wanted to see play the same style of hurling. Eventually, the ball being placed for the sideline over there, uh, being carefully placed. Referee Joe Leary blowing the whistle. Number five, Kare Hogan, Shinea Mihal Adrishkola, Vulishdak. Not a very long one. It breaks nicely for his forwards, however. Racing across, getting inside the defence. A chance for them now. And along the ground, one, two of them there. It's hurled in aimlessly uh, in the general direction of the goal and goes harmlessly wide. Ta. Gan omatimaha. Satarnala. Agus. Beakovil Mahuna Eranun C. Grevna Huna and Noon Seed and Dan Oma Sun near a vain chance. Dwan the Comer Adair Fog, a shock win. Abola Grish. Hard tackling down there. Hard whipping by uh, Dan McSweeney to get his forwards in motion. And coming out trying to lift it first time, not succeeding. Succeeding on the second occasion is Dennis O'Leary. Tapping it nicely inside to. Uh, Dan McSweeney, Dan trying to find a gap, the ball comes back out to Dennis, eventually it comes out the field. But still, Ovens on the attack, attack broken up, however, by uh, David Bradley, who has discarded his helmet. Uh, over on the far side, number four, Fra Bullock, David O'Leary, driving it down the wing, Dennis O'Leary, another O'Leary over there, I don't know if they're related, that's surely a push in the back by da David Bradley, yes indeed, and it will be a free in for a Bullock. The way Dennis O'Leary was put down there, he was nearly in the grave, like in the poem. Uh, I think at this stage, though, that if, if Ovens don't get a few scores soon, that will go out of their grasp, even though that Abolog are not putting them away with all the possession they have. A mighty catch there by mighty Ovens, catch. number five, Michal Odrishkol. His clearance went straight to an Abolog forward, the Abolog forwards. Effort goes wide. A shock when Jason O'Maraku, they shall puck him off. Count father, Mark. Drola on the park, you built it back in, and it's Abolog Garanun Sierish. Ak, Anur Shatana Kulaha, Aun Akhtan Schlitter to the Stark Jason. Ooh, Jason stopped it first time, it bobbled off his hurley, and in was one of the Abolog forwards. I think it was uh, Vera, yes, it was, I think Vera who was in there, Vera Toomey. However, 
unluckily for her, luckily for Jason Murphy, the ball went wide. Here come Ovens, David Bradley, their star player so far. David is blocked on this occasion. Two players around him. Do they beat him? No, David is still there, tenacious as ever. Three players around him now. He's still trying to go through. Eventually, weight of numbers beats him, and away come Ahabulog. Driving the ball down along the ground, down towards the Black Rock end. And a mistake there by cornerback Michael Herron and Abulog with a chance to score. Michael with a chance to make up for his mistake. Does so. Gets it away along the ground. But back come Abulog again. Lifting the ball, turning away from his marker and driving it in is Dan McSweeney. In towards the centre there is Dennis O'Leary. When you see Dennis, you know it's dangerous and need I say it. Dennis crashes it to the back of the net. That must be the wrapper-upper. Dan McSweeney, Dennis O'Leary combining beautifully there. Excellent play from both. No, uh, Abulog have increased their lead. Liam Kadehan is will and Claire Hart Marthlehe. Well, I'd say an ish Greig, Abulog can toss it near small, Beshadaka book and Oranish. Here they come again. And Vera Toomey with a chance, Jason Murphy. Did very well there. In fact, Jason is one man who must be commended uh, in the Ovens' defence. Even though they've conceded four goals, Jason Murphy and Tim Kelleher at fullback uh, have tried their hearts out. So has David Bradley. It's just that there's been so much coming in there, and Dennis O'Leary and company, Patrick Summers and Vera Toomey, have been very dangerous in the Abulog forward line. 65 for Abulog. August. Hogan's duck draw on the parquet there on right tour. August of Ray and Dick and Hogan, Shane and Fashion Reese, Tonic all there. Tonic Hardu, a Vulaga Hard, will check a green, Tasha Harave green, Haradras non, Cooling, Glote Ella, Taha Bullog, Agassi the Vad Contosiganish, four three to one goal, a four goal lead with almost six minutes played in the second half and the game has gone away from the Ovens players now, and it's all Ahabulog. Shokun Yarishid. Back goes Tim Kelleher to try and get it away, and in is Dennis O'Leary again. Dennis, on on down, a thorn, a definite thorn in the side of the uh, Ovens defence, and Dennis casually turns away from his marker and strokes that one over the bar and increases the huge lead now, which Abulog enjoy. Here they come again down the far side, and there is Dennis, the will of the wisp, the scarlet pimpernel. They seek him here, they seek him there. Another chance, Vera is in there, but so is full back Tim Kelleher, and Tim uh, gives nothing away to women's lib and whips hard on that ball and gets it out. But there's Dennis again, putting it back in towards the centre. It breaks into Dan, Dan McSweeney going towards goal, in low, and it's well stopped inside by Tim Kelleher. Thou shalt not pass this, Tim, and nothing has passed him, and he drives the slitter out to the corner. But Chocou and Ahabal agree, shout around the centre now, they're totally dominant, and they can afford to casually look up and have the time to find players loose, just like they did on that occasion. A loose clearance from the Ovens' defence, a chance for Ahabal agree, Akhtasha Sara Heshtik, good hooking in there, but away come Ahabal, our Ovens, uh, Kieran Elders, along the ground. Hard, hard pulling by number 10 there, Alan Madden, failing to connect with the Schlitter Oven, and again it's Ovens' defence under fierce, fierce pressure down there, Along the ground again it goes and it creeps in by the post. Very close to the post there. Uh, the goal the goal is given a bullock 5-4. Ovens won goal. Seven seven and a half minutes played and it's one way traffic now. It's a procession. Yes indeed, it's all a have a look, but their forwards are very, very cagey, making room for each other and doing the right things, doing the right things all the time, uh, finding the extra man. Then again, it's very easy to do that when you're winning by two or three goals and you have the confidence to do it. Liam, once things go right, they go very right. And of course, especially with, with any team playing, seniors even, if you were down by that much, heads would drop. But with younger lads, they tend to lose, lose heart when they're trailing by that much and it's hard to blame them. Yes, Murphy's law really comes into into um, account there. But what a lovely hurler, what a lovely skills we have seen from Dennis O'Leary and from the Abolog, Abolog forward line in general. There goes Dennis again. Leave it for me, he says. He's got time, he's got room, he's got space. Turning away from the marker, tapping it inside. One, two defenders there. Dennis gets a second bite at the cherry. 
whips it across dangerously. A great ball across for forwards. Out comes Jason. Jason half connects with it and rolls it out towards the sideline. And there's number eight finding a man again. And it's whipped in, and that's a magnificent save. That is save of the Skiena Skull Finals. Bola Boston Cole Bara, and another one, or did that come off the crossbar? I'm not sure. That was an excellent save there from a point blank shot. Full length dive, the hurley up. Anna Havala Fadliam. Yes, indeed. Reminiscent of the famous save that Martin Coleman made in the 1976 All Ireland against Wexford. Brilliant goalkeeping there by Jason Murphy. And one thing is sure, it's not Jason's fault that. that uh, that uh, ovens are going to go down today, and they're not going to go down without giving it a good old battle. They're trying to sure get out. Uh, Ahabulug really passing very well in the forwards now, combining very well, finding the loose man on most occasions. There is Dennis, one of the loose men, not so loose on this occasion. Two backs around him, but that doesn't stop Dennis from popping it over the bar. Agus Kulin Ella Alling Fachtige the Ahabulug. And back with the play, Ahabulug again. Halfway through the second half, it's going to be a long, long 10 minutes for Ovens. Dan McSweeney putting it into the danger area yet again. And they overworked Tim Kelleher. Knows he was going to be hooked, did very well to turn away from his marker and drive it out over the line. Tim is another man who hasn't let his side down. Yes, indeed. Tim and Jason really doing a kind of finger in the dike job at this stage for Ovens. Trying to shore up the amount of flood of pressure that's coming in from Abelug is nearly impossible. Dan McSweeney taking that sideline cut again, getting it right in there. Into the box, into the... And there's a shamazzle in there, a five-yard scrum. And eventually the ball goes in, Jason makes... And half gets away with it, it's still in there. It's whipped on in the end by uh, Danny Buckley. And Danny shot goes harmlessly wide. It will be a puck out for Jason. He's in a hurry. Drives it out towards uh, David Bradley, who we haven't seen at all in the second half. The ball hasn't gone past midfield. That's why we haven't seen him. It's all been down there at the Black Rock end. And there's Vera in there, trying to get the ball in. But the defenders are there in numbers. Michael Ahern eventually kicking it away. And back come Ahabalog, whipping it in. And away comes number five, Michael Odrish goal. Being tackled by Vera Toomey, Michael half clears it. And there's David Bradley now trying to get the ball out, but Ahabalog get it in. It's right back in in front of the goal. It's gathered by Dennis. Dennis turning, trying to make room for a shot. He's well blocked by Michael Ahern. Michael trying to drive it out, drives it out in the end, out towards the centre, and it's whipped on. But one, two. Ovens play, our Abolog players will be first to this one, yes indeed, along the ground only as far as David Bradley of Ovens. David is well marked over there, however, trying to recover and get, he gets the top of the stick to it. But back come uh, Abolog, Akshak win, Nuhun Arishak. Abolog now casual almost, breaking away from defence. One, two, three of them, which one of us will take it this time, they say. And the person who takes it is Dan, is it Dan? Yes it is, Dan driving it in. And it's stopped inside by Tim. Tim comes away. He's hooked first time. It wasn't him actually. It's uh, Dennis. Uh, it's Kevin Myler gone back, uh, but not able to get the ball out of the danger zone. And in goes Vera Toomey. In goes Patrick Summers. I think it's in there, and it's kicked away by Jason out towards the wing here and along the ground is uh, Kieran Elders. Kieran Elders doesn't clear it, however, and. It's right back into Denny Buckley. Denny Buckley drives it low. It's stopped by the defence. There's a forward inside there in the square. Away, away. The ball is driven away by uh, Michael Ahern over towards the far side. Michael himself following it out. So is Dennis O'Leary. I think it's Dennis at any rate. And looking up and again, expertly finding uh, a teammate. The teammate is number five. Five is Dennis Murphy. Murphy puts it right back in to the danger zone. One, two, three forwards in there, two backs. It's still there. It must finish up on the back of that. No, it doesn't. Fair play to those backs. I don't know how they're keeping it out. Have they got a sheet of perspects across in front of that goal? But still it's in there. And again, the backs prevail. And eventually it's half cleared. It's whipped out for a 65 in the end. Desperation stakes down there for the boys from Ovens. And a 65... The 65 about to be taken by Dennis 
uh, O'Leary. Dennis West, no time. Drives it high, drives it dangerously in. It's flicked in. It hits the post and comes back out. All action here down to that goal mouth. And there's a foul down there, chopping down. Uh, Joe O'Leary is well up with the play and awards a free out or a leaving free to uh, Michael O'Driscoll. Michael drives it and it's flicked on at midfield. Well flicked on by Paul Conway for Ovens. And this is the first Ovens attack of the half, but there are four backs back there to get it. And one of them wastes no time in scooping it up and flicking it out the field. Shachwin, Ahabolagarish, Avadro Vahinish, Tasnahuana. And Mohelana Parkinson getting in there. That was Dennis O'Leary turning smartly away from uh, Bradley and giving it on to the other. Uh, Dan, Dan Max Sweeney. Dan looks towards goal, taps it in, and it goes wide. So a substitute for Robbins coming on now. Number 13 is Padraig Holmes. I'm not quite sure who's gone off. They'll give Padraig a run anyway. It's great for him to get on here in Parky Creeve, even if there isn't much time left in this game. Patrick Holmes, if it's a three day, got a bike. Yes, but one thing we have to say about the Ovens forwards is the, the vision that they have shown, the interpassing, the looking up, finding the loose man. The uh, Bullock forwards, you mean, Liam? Uh, Bullock forwards, yes. Kattegut, Tad, Anava Harfad, they've combined excellently throughout the game and uh, have, have really created very clear cut chances for themselves. Another sub, I think, on the field as well for. Uh, Ovens is number 19, Garrett Kelleher, and also number 16, now getting ready to come on, is uh, Brian Cahan. So they're giving their subs a run, and that's just right. That's as it should be. Uh, the game really over as a contest, so give them a run and let them say, I played in Parky Creeve. I was there. I played where Teddy McCarthy played. That will give, give them renewed heart for the years to come as they strive to, to uh, emulate the feats of the Cork heroes. Over on the far side, it's one-way traffic all the way as Ahabolog trying to get back in again for yet another score. And referee Joe O'Leary sounds a long whistle a bit before time. Uh, fair play to him. Uh, a good contest for about 10 minutes of the first half. Then Ahabolog got a few vital scores and from there on there was only one team in it. Uh, Anavala Adol, the Skull Nahuna, gone out. Kaharhe, Jason Murphy, Tim Kelleher, August David Bradley. In other on the year, Octak, Aaron Law, V. Abolog, Rovado, a very well deserved victory for Abolog. 5 5 to a single goal. Karamahagiv, Dundayan.
Sit on top of the Come on, son. Hold it up, hold it up. Hold it up.